Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Play City Skylines, a modded series. This is the River on Map, and we're playing on Azity City. Welcome to episode 64, and you can see what we're doing is fixing this rather long interchange. So, in the previous episodes, uh, you've seen me try to tackle this problem here with all the traffic. We have three industries connected, the farm industry, forestry industry, and the oil industry, all to make paper products for our citizens. As you know, we don't want to go through another toilet paper shortage <laughs> this time around. Anyway, uh, what I'm doing is connecting a road from the top end. I believe that's the forestry industry to the oil industry. So the north and the southern end. And this is going to be done underneath the highway. And after analyzing this area, somebody uh, commented that I should make this a little bit more um, free flowing. So I was told to elongate this road, make some sort of T bone um, or like a, a bone shaped kind of roundabout to mimic one of the ones in the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. The goal is to make it at least 90% uh, traffic flow in this city. Uh, anything other, anything higher than 80% is actually pretty good for something this compact. Uh, I've seen other uh, playthroughs of larger cities and have 90%. So it's definitely doable. This area is a little problematic because you have people going on from the highway, the southern end, trying to do a loop around to reach the other side. And we have that teardrop uh, part that links the trams uh, in order to make the trams do a U-turn. So. I do have an idea for that in a future episode. You can see it doesn't look like a tram is listed here. The pathway is not connected, so we'll have to correct that later on. Up here, we changed that area to make some sort of free-flowing roundabout. I'm not sure if this is a, such a good idea. Um, this introduces more intersections, especially one so close to that area right there. So you can see me delete that part. I don't know what I was thinking here. There's a lot more traffic lights here for cars to be able to go to the other side. Even if I made it one way, it would still have a lot of traffic. So I believe I'll leave that for a minute, see what we need to do. And we're moving the intersection. Hopefully, uh, alleviates the traffic lights and make an overpass up there. A bunch of houses got a bulldoze in the process. Go. Looks kind of nice underneath that overpass and I make a, a Y uh, or a T intersection here so that people can uh, go directly to the right hand side. Once the uh, middle row clears, no one's using the middle lane or a few of them are. So 
yeah, it didn't really uh, help in this situation. Sometimes when I'm doing this traffic stuff, I uh, I just do trial and error at first. I don't uh, particularly remember uh, techniques until I see them or, or if it makes sense to me. So here I'm trying a, a three-way road, which I'm not quite sure uh, what would be a good use for that. Maybe uh, if I do have a highway that needs a, a single road to veer off somewhere, it would be a, a good idea to have. Here I have a two-way uh, two highway road going left and right, and I'm still analyzing this part. Not sure what to do here. I think I restore this back to its original self in the next episode, to be honest. So, so we had a little improvement in traffic, but not that much. And we're noticing uh, there's some back since of the backup traffic. Garbage collection is a problem now. So that was what you were seeing was uh, the, yeah one of the industries is as full of garbage or needs a pickup. So here I'm experimenting with the priority roads and removing um, traffic lights. Seeing how that goes. Well, it's like an hour is approaching. I didn't really solve anything in this episode, but I will try to fix that issue in the next episode. I know the previous title of the 63rd episode said I fixed the trolley problem with a, uh, a teardrop loop, but uh, this episode we're just analyzing that part that we couldn't fix. Until next time, thank you guys for joining. If you liked what you see, um, if you want more uh, videos like this one, please like, subscribe for more videos so you know you miss the next time. Uh, ding that bell, and I'll see you in three days. This is John Nezadam signing out. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you're essential. <laughs>